what is going on everybody it is Rock here bringing you guys a brand new video hope you guys are all having a great day today today's video i wanted to go over what i think the new meta could be if you just adapt your play style the the new broken gun well it's not really new it's been uh it's been in the game people have used it but uh, I think it's more viable now than ever. Like I said, just got, I'll, I'll, I'll say it again, got adapt your play style a little bit, but the PKM, okay? The PKM. Before we go into the class loadout and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, leaving likes on videos is the key way to let me know you guys are enjoying the content. And uh, if you feel like leaving me anything down below, comment wise, feel free. And uh, we got some Twitch, Twitter links in the description box if you're interested in any of the streams or anything like that. So, without further ado, the PKM in Season 5. So, this new PKM loadout for Season 5 can be described as one of the best guns in Warzone's current build. Despite early seasons of Warzone being dominated by assault rifles, LMGs have truly come into their own in both Season 4 and Season 5. The Bruin uh, obviously was generally considered the best weapon in the Battle Royale's current build. Um... In August, there was a key nerf to the Bruin twice, which greatly reduced the damage range, and I think it slightly uh, increased the recoil. It's still a viable gun, but it is not the same as it used to be, but I still, I mean, obviously the Bruin is still very viable in Warzone, but this weapon loadout with the PKM, oh ma ma ma. The PKM, yes, it is slower to use. Uh, it's reload time is coming in at around eight seconds, which I know it seems like a lot But hear me out if you adapt your play style and don't play like a frantic fast idiot This gun you, you just pick your spots with it. This thing will absolutely mow down squads with one clip stock comes with a hundred rounds You need only about 15 or so bullets to uh, take out a person while they're to get knocked to, to completely out of the game and that's easily enough to take on a full squad by yourself if not a couple extra members as well this weapon loadout is going to be key for taking out teams from mid to long range yes it'll take out from short range as well but again you have to just seriously seriously change your play style a little bit you got to play a little bit slower but this thing will absolutely <laughs> dominate the damage insane the recoil stability it is super easy to control and the magazine size like i said there's enough there to take on a whole squad by yourself don't believe me if you don't believe me that's that's fine but if you're fans of nick Merckx, this is the exact class setup that he uses and he's shown uh in a previous video of his a couple weeks ago but not many people, I don't see many people using it, so I'm just going to go with it for, for me. I'm going to go with it for me for now. So, first up, the Monolithic Suppressor, which has become a staple of nearly every single Warzone class. It extends damage range while keeping players off enemy radars. Uh, pair this with the 26.9 extended barrel, and it's no surprise that this PKM can laser people across the map. The TAC laser will reduce ADS time and as well as what I think the secret attachment to this setup is the snatch grip. This underbarrel attachment is, is arguably the most important on this PKM. Massively reducing the ADS time while also reducing recoil. Foregrips in Modern Warfare tend to slow ADS time. Finally, I like to pair it with the VLK 3.0 optic, which will enable players to capitalize on the minimal recoil and employ the PKM at longer ranges. Realistically, this is the attachment to swap out if you prefer a slightly different optic like the hollow scope of some sorts like that. If you haven't given this class setup a try or this gun a try, I highly recommend trying it at this point of the game. The Bruin, like the Bruin meta is, is basically somewhat over and all sorts of guns are viable. Like I said, just change your play style up a little bit, slow your play style down, Pick your spots, set up, and just absolutely mow people down from medium to long range. And then if people come up close, just have amped on, run an MP5, and you're going to absolutely shred anyone that comes up close to you. That's all I got to say. I think this this class setup is, is dangerous and can be, when used properly, is one of the best, if not the best, in the entire game. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this class setup in the description box down below. Always interested to see what you guys say. And that's going to be it for me. Appreciate the support as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.